Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about core satellite strategy and we'll be also showing some profiles as examples. Core satellite is a strategy that works for investors with different investment experiences. It is also used by many financial institutions as a method of portfolio construction. It is simple yet powerful for everyone. Core satellite strategy can be a combination of passive and active investing. It is built with diversification in mind and this is ideal for any individual that does not have much time to invest but wishes to start somewhere. The core of the investment should be tracking the index to achieve long-term appreciation and low maintenance. The aim of the core investment is to improve the consistency of the returns and have a more favorable risk-reward ratio. The satellite portfolio can include higher risk investments that generate higher returns. They can be investments that you have high conviction in, such as overweighting it in certain sectors or they can be investments in individual stocks. The satellite investments should not have a very high allocation to them as they are higher in risk. David, this example here we have, 55 year old draws a monthly income of $10,000, manages to save about $4,000 monthly and is willing to make an investment amount of 200K initially, adding 3.5K every month. He has been investing on his own, but hopes to consolidate his investment in Scythe. He has two goals. First, retirement income of 2k per month with a sum of 500k to comfortably get by in 9 years' time. Second, legacy planning reaching a sum of $1 million enough for his next generation within 20 years. From his investment experiences in the past, he would like exposure towards emerging market bonds and investment-grade corporate bonds within his portfolio for better yield and wealth preservation. David also believes that post-pandemic has created a strong demand in healthcare innovation and wants to ride on this trend. To meet his retirement goal, nine years later, he uses three portfolios highlighted in blue. First, using Scythe Corp Defensive as his core holding with 40% of his investable amount. This portfolio has about 70% in bonds with a smaller allocation of 20% in equity and 10% in gold. This portfolio delivers on an average annualized return 4.72% across the years. It's the lowest risk amongst the core offerings. Second, allocating 10% into Scythe Select Custom Portfolio to form a satellite by picking up iShares JP Morgan USD Emerging Markets Bond and iShares iBox Investment Grade Corporate Bond ETF. As he has no need for passive income now, he starts off with a smaller 10% allocation towards REITs. On the ninth year, he will then channel his proceeds from core defensive and custom portfolios into REITs to meet his passive income goal. For his legacy planning goal 20 years later, he uses two portfolios highlighted in yellow. Selecting the Scythe Corp Balance with a 30% allocation, it is a moderate risk portfolio with an average annual return of 7% in order to sustainably grow his wealth via a balanced mix of 40% equities, 50% bonds, and 10% gold. On top of that, he then added a thematic portfolio, a healthcare innovation as a satellite with 10% allocation. This is the sector which David has great conviction in. David is able to fully utilize the different portfolios at Scythe to achieve his investment goals. He adopted a core satellite strategy and empower the allocations with monthly contributions to accumulate towards his goals at a comfortable pace. With proper portfolio planning, he is able to manage his risk and attain passive income for his retirement by shifting funds from core balance and custom portfolio into the REITs portfolio after 9 years. His investment in the REIT portfolio should then generate the passive income of about $24,000 per year, coming around to the 2K per month based on the average 4.5% dividend yield. With his allocations for legacy planning, he meets his goal north of a million dollars in comparison to just $368,000 if he had stuck to simply saving a bank.